about time. What's going on? Yeah. Rumor report. Rumor report. This is the rumor report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on the Breakfast Club. Well, Takashi Six Nine is now going in on Ludacris. Now I wasn't sure what had happened at first. I just saw that Six Nine was posting and calling Luda a bum ass N word and saying nobody watches Fear Factor since the white boy left. Well, here is what happened. Ludacris was on Wild and Out and he was playing I Plead the Fifth and this went down. If you was to sign somebody right now to DTP disturbing the peace, <laughs> who would you sign first? Takashi Six Nine? Oh, my man, Nick Cannon. That's an easy one for me. I'd sign Nick Cannon because Takashi, I don't know how much longer he's going to be around. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to be honest with you. If I was Takashi, I'd be very offended by that. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pissed I'm going to tell you why I'd be very offended by that. What? The same man that signed Chingy. How dare you? All right? <laughs> <laughs> that, but that's why you'd be upset. Well, yes, maybe he's saying you? he learned from that experience. No, no, no. Chingy made a lot of money, okay? Chingy sold a lot of records his first time around. He did. All right? Well, 6 9 responded, you stupid, bum-ass, and we're waiting for Fast 9 to begin, washed up, bitch. Here's what else Takashi had to say. Luda, Luda, Luda. You bum-ass, p***y-ass, fast and the furious geek. Yo, suck my f***ing Luda. Look, this is what you know for. Hold on. When I was 13. I like this song, though. What the f***? What is you doing? Takashi, you a fool if you would you a fool if you wouldn't have jumped on baby, baby, baby by Justin Bieber. That was okay? my joke. Luda, Luda, Luda the dream, Justin, all of them still making millions off that one record. Stop it. Royalties on that was crazy. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. You one. would jump on that a minute, Takashi. But who would you sign? Takashi or, or Nick Cannon? For what? <laughs> for what? <laughs> for what? For what? For what? Yeah, record label. You know what it's for. Who would you sign? Just like, rap? A rap. Takashi 6 9 oh, all okay. goddamn day. I would think of the same thing. Takashi no damn Tekashi. Nick Cannon to no rap. Nick, man. But, but, Nick Cannon is your friend, man. I'll do anything else with Nick. Any other type of business. But rap, absolutely not. Okay. But Gigolo not was happening. popping. Oh, you're like, I'm man, a Gigolo. stop it, man. You can't not keep bringing that old song. We're not going to sit here and act like Nick Cannon ain't been trying to get his rap career off the ground for 20 years, right? Well, Ludacris is preparing for Luda Day, so he posted a picture of Takashi and he put not confirmed because normally whoever's going to be there, he puts confirm. Well, I guess he's uh, Xing out Takashi. I feel you, Takashi, but stop telling people to SMD, man. I got to see Takashi yeah, in one fist fight, much. yo. Because I'm so, I can't, I, you got to stop inviting people to your private parts, man. As my daddy once said, if a man tells you to S his SMD, be prepared to die or kill. And as I've grown, I've added on, I'll be prepared to SMD. <laughs> Some, All right? Somebody might have do it. Have a good time. Day, have day, a good night. I can't wait till Takashi tells the right person to SMD and they jump in his jeans. They're going to jump right <laughs> in We got to get some of Ray J's booty goons. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. Aretha Franklin. There has been 23 acts so far that are confirmed to be featured at her memorial. It looks like it's going to be popping. The memorial takes place next Thursday, and it's going to be um, in Detroit. Did you say popping? Yeah, listen, when I tell you these people that Dr. Louis Farrakhan will be there, too. Dr. Louis uh, Farrakhan? Who's Dr. That, Louis Farrakhan? That's how, they, that's how they have him listed on here. Dr. No, man, it's Louis the Honorable Farrakhan. Minister Louis Farrakhan. I'm just telling you how they have it listed here. I don't know why. What the hell is wrong with these people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, the four tops, Gladys Knight. Johnny Gill will be there, even though he's not uh, showing up for new edition shows. <laughs> uh, Angie Stone, Raheem Devon, a whole lot of people. The so, four tops, uh, all of them are still alive? I don't know. It could be... I have no idea. I don't want to yeah. say yes or no to that. <laughs> One of them passed. All right. Jennifer Lewis will be there as well. All right. A journalist has detailed what happened when she said she was assaulted while filming an R. Kelly documentary. She said earlier this month she was at an R. Kelly after party trying to film this documentary. And uh, she was working under contract for BuzzFeed News. And she said, I had the camera phone in my hand above my head. All I know is I felt an arm around my neck and I was lifted up. The next thing I know, I'm facing outside. She said she was confronted by six men who she thought was nightclub security, as well as members of R. Kelly's security team. So she said she got roughed up and assaulted while trying to film. Mm. Is she all right? All right. Um, yeah, I guess she's now going to be uh, filing charges. Okay. All right. I'm Angela Yee. And that is your rumor report.